Uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio in this session we are going to learn how to eliminate any row from the file which is containing any invalid email id so here you can see a user file having four columns like id name age email so we have to validate if the file containing a valid email id that means we have to treat it otherwise we have to eliminate this so here you can see we have the email id for bill dot wilson at the rate at the rate microsoft dot com so for the valid email id it there should be a single at the rate in the next column you can see that there is two dot in the email id so we have to eliminate this kind of the data before processing it into the destination so in talent there is no direct mechanism to eliminate this kind of the validations emails so what we need to do here we can write our custom code so to write our custom code you can go to the code and i have already created a folder like custom and uh, here you can see i have already created root time so if i open click on my check email class then you can see uh, package root times is the default package then i have imported java dot util dot regex that is a class which is going to be used in this scenario and then i have created a method called public static boolean each email valid then i am passing the parameter as a string and the name of the parameter is email now you can see that i have defined the regex expression here so in this expression you can see that it would be start uh, will take the uh, this kind of the special characters okay then you can see dot is this dot is allowed then you can see uh, to check the domain name it should be start from at the right and then you can see it can be allow a numeric value of 0 to 9 and the alphabet uh, a to capital a to capital z and small a to small small z now what i need to do and then uh, i have created another uh, variable pattern and define the pattern to compile and pass the regex class then matcher okay then matcher i am you can check the email which is the parameter we are passing to this method and return the and then it is returning the matches or matches and it would be written true or false if uh, your email is correct then it will return true otherwise it will return false so here uh, i am going to give you an example of this first of all i am going to use t input T file input delimited. Okay, and uh, I have already created a, create a metadata for this uh, uh, file. So in metadata, I have created a file delimited metadata for user info. Okay, so I am just uh, going to assign this metadata with my T file input delimited to know how to create a user info uh, metadata. You can see my previous videos where I have defined this step. So 
now in our T file input delimited we are going to property type and we will choose repository in repository we can see the list of metadata and we have already created a metadata for user info so, so choose it and click on ok button now we can see the schema of this there are many options like view schema to change it to build in property property and update repository connections so we are going to choose view schema click on ok button and here you can see this is the schema of t file input delimited and these are the four column which is coming from the file now we want to see the data so i am going to use t log row component this component is very useful if you want to see on the fly data you want to see the data on the fly then you can use it so i am just going to row and go to main and here you can see the t log row component okay and click on the edit schema here you can see the schema from the t file input delimited and this is the output from t log row click on ok button and there are more for basic tab table or vertical i will choose table then run my job ok now you can see uh, you can see the data which is coming from the file ok now uh, clear this i want to apply my custom code to apply the custom code we want to use tmap processing component ok and just you can see row and main choose main to tmap ok double click on tmap and you it will show the t talent open studio for big data tmap property now i need to create a output so is validated validated okay now what i need to do i need to link my row one to validated then name then age then email this is the actual column so i need to uh, create one more column and calling it is validated is validated dated validated email and in this column we want to store only true and false so i am going to choose the data type as boolean and just drop the email for this column also now choose the column and go to the custom uh, advanced property of this column here you can see this is the user defined and uh, in user defined we have created a class that is check email dot then you can see the method in this class uh, first it uh, is email valid choose it and then save it ok now click on ok button so this method will return true for valid email and false for invalid email click on ok button now we can run our job here ok now job is successful so we want to see the output from the t map so we are going to do t log row again and right click on it t map and then choose it validated ok 
हैव लिंक आवर टीम मैप टू टी लॉग रो कंपोनेंट एंड वांट टू सी द आउटपुट फ्रॉम दी टी मैप प्रोसेसिंग प्रोसेसिंग कंपोनेंट सो डबल क्लिक ऑन टी लॉग रो टू कंपोनेंट एंड क्लिक ऑन एडिट स्कीमा यू कैन सी दिस स्कीमा इज कंटेनिंग फाइव कॉलम्स and uh, now click on okay button and we are going to choose again table mode for t log row component now run this job here you can see this is the columns now you can see if your email id is valid then it true if it is Uh, in well then it false now you can see this uh, email id is false because it is containing two at the right symbols in the email id that's why it is going to be false now we have another email id where there are two dots in the email continuous two dots that is donald dot dot trump then it is also false now Hey, what we need to do here? Uh, we have to filter all invalid email IDs. So I am going to use the filter row component processing processing component. This component is also useful to apply any filter on the data column. So I am just going to choose it. and double click on it now in the edit schema you can see this is the schema which is coming from and click on okay button now what i need to do uh, here i am going to add a new column like and the column name is it valid validate email empty and equals to be true so we are going to pick only valid emails now we are going to run this job again okay our job is successful now i want to see the output so now i am going to use t log row uh t log row component to view the data right click on it and go to the row and go to the filter okay now in the filter i am going to double click on it and in the edit schema you can see i am just okay now going to choose table format and run this job again now you can see only true only valid email ids are going to be filtered in the true condition now i need to check all the invalid email id so i am going to t log row component again and here i am just going to right click on t filter row and choose rejected okay in the rejected i am just going to do table uh, table mode and in edit schema there is the schema you can see okay click on okay button and run it now you can see these are the invalid email id which is coming with false and these are the valid email id which is coming for the true so guys you can see write a custom code in the talent it is very easy and it depends on your requirements sometimes everything is not possible in it in a tool or in a proper manner so we have to write some custom codes to validate uh, some uh, some uh, special cases like we did here so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on talent open studio ssrs ssis sql server